Zoe, you're awake. What? Oh, wonkers, get off me! Oh, what time is it? Wait, where... where am I? You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... no. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma for a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers, you don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No, I... I can't sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! Why don't you go back to sleep, Zoe? You'll feel much better if you do. There's something very wrong about this, and if I go to sleep again, maybe Wonkus is right. Maybe I'll feel better if I take a nap. Okay. Wake up, Zoe. You must wake up. Come on, Zoe, get up. This place isn't real. You need to get out. Was that... April? Are you tired, Zoe? You must be tired. Let's go back to sleep. I'll stay right here. I promise I won't ever leave you. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. You're not feeling well. I can tell. You're exhausted. And you're seeing things that aren't real. I... I don't know what's wrong, but it's not me. It's this place. It's you, Wonkers. You're all wrong. That hurts my feelings, Zoe. You don't sound right. You're imagining things, Zoe. You're very, very tired. Sleeping will help you feel better. You should go back to sleep. Just for a little while. No. Over 200 unread posts. So I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. Flowers from Liv. Hola, sweetie. I hope these flowers will brighten your day. Love, Liv. That's cute. Liv's cute. I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. And Alien the Cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. I can't wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I... I remember something about... Uh, what just happened? Something happened to her. To live. Something terrible. Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Olivia. She's dead. I know it. I feel it. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? Dad and me in Casablanca. Dad's been away a lot. 
traveling, but we're still very close. I remember that day. We had one of our dad and daughter days. We walked around exploring the city, we went to a museum, and then we ate an amazing buffet dinner at the Wati Plaza Hotel downtown. Dad and me in Casablanca. Dad's been away a lot. Travel. I remember that day. We had one of our dad and daughter days. We walked around our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the back tracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend traveling around the island. We always talked about going to Svalbard. It's such an incredible place. So majestic and so alien. And I was totally geeking out about going inside the Doomsday Vault. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Things have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted... this long. I remember we stayed at the... uh... What was the name of that place again? And where was it? I don't... I don't remember... any of it. Now I'm officially freaked out. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip. Aside from talking to Reza about it, and this photo. We were there, and we've been together for five years. Have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. That's me, in Cape Town. This must have been Sandy Bay. Oh, beautiful waters. Carefree days. Oh, I miss it. I remember this day vividly. Five minutes after this picture was taken, there was a sudden influx of naked 70-year-old men. And that's when we realized what kind of beach this was. That's me, in Cape Town. Mum, Dad, and me. That was when we moved to Casablanca. Mum and Dad were always moving when I was growing up, because of their jobs. This must have been the fifth or sixth home we moved into. I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and... and Mum. We played hide and seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well, or her face, or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... she wasn't... where was she? Graduation day, in front of Jammy Hall. Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on Jammy steps and looking out over the city. I remember feeling like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made it to graduation. It's almost... almost like a dream. Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there, I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. Liv had an accident. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. Liv didn't send this. It's not real.
We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Zoe. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a... a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. Forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Now. Before it's too late. Before... Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. Something's wrong. This place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Zoe. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or the dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty night. I'll miss you too, buddy. What's this? Is this a one-way window? Have they been observing me? Fuck! Stop that. It's not a toy. 
You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse, a solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. She's murdered thousands, and she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She must stand trial. But we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring she court martial and execution. Very well. Hang her from the tower. May the goddess have mercy on your dark soul, Alessandra. You can't do this. I have the council's approval. There are powerful people in charge. You'll all rot in shadow, I swear to the goddess. You'll burn for eternity. What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. Now, when I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Mammon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes opened this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you, and the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kian, for distrusting you. I should have known better. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. I'm disappointed in him. He should know me better than to think I would knowingly betray my people. But I won't confront him about it until our friendship may never be the same. But we need to put this behind us and move on. He sh I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and- General. Harmy. I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guillen? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. She has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although, if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Vamon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels, against Vamon's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved. We'll have to leave young Vip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Vip, time to go. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? You've done all I've asked. With the General away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support in Sadir has been unwavering. I am pleased with your work. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the Goddess. 
Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, and most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? And have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active... We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that we... Don't worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, exploring the mountains close to my village, I met an old Dolmari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dolmari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life. But I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me. Felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, we are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to Magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring, but if we don't act tonight in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend sire and Vamon, 
Alive, if possible. Dead, if necessary. You'll take your commands from the General. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. Anik will lead a team to Coldstone to free Ulvik and the imprisoned rebels, along with Benrime Salmin, who risked her life aiding the resistance. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world. From destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, Enu. There's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna will escort Fedaus and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important. And more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for, I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Army. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kian. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. That was a good speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary.